Now join News World tomorrow, Wednesday, January 27, premiere a documentary on the life of the late President, President Jerry John Rawlings, who will be buried tomorrow. Now, ahead of the screening of that documentary, we'll bring you a teaser. If we had not acted the way we did, the nation could have faced total disintegration. Jerry John Rawlings, a man of many faces, charismatic, enigmatic, and maybe the man who through courage and love for his nation ended an era of coup d'etats in Ghana. December 31st was the last coup d'etat that we had in Ghana. I want to give him the credit for ending coup d'etats. Born on the 22nd of June, 1947, in Accra, Ghana, to Victoria Agbutui and his Scottish father, James Ramsey, Rollins attended Achimota School and a military academy at Teshi. Rollins was married to Nana Kunedu Ajiman. I remember him more as a young adult. Uh, when I really got to know him, he was over 10. But then his character formation had reached a very advanced level. He was very uh, self-assured. He was very much dependent on himself. And uh, he was always after knowledge. He was a very friendly person and willing to help. Hello. You better shut up when I'm talking, okay? He doesn't just get angry. Like anybody else, when you're giving guy people the right of us, what do they don't do as well? You can talk, shout, but there were these conspiracy theories that he was slapping people and all that. Through his actions and inactions, I admired him and I enjoyed him. What I enjoyed most was his look at that time. I don't think that as an individual, Mr. Jerry Rawlings ever said, go eliminate this man, go kill this man, no. It's part of our history. America has had its revolution. US, US has had its revolution. Uh, you know, uh, the English, they've had their revolution. You know, it's, it's, it's a feature in the life of a It is how you handle it. And I would say that, as far as I know, as many times as possible, when we have the opportunity, during June 4th occasion, anniversary, Mr. Rawlings has had to make an apology for excesses really, which were executed by some of his men during the period. That's all that he can do. Gone is great. So Gone is great, as you can see, will be premiered tomorrow, Wednesday, January 27, right here on the Join News channel. We'll take a break now to bring you more business news. Do stay tuned in.